Hey, this is Santa Skip, and today we're going to do uh, what's in the what's in the box. It's my this is my this right here plus I got my briefcase, and I also have a little bag for. Uh, All my art supplies. You've got a few extra paintbrushes I got on the outside. But let's start with. Ah, I tell you what. Let's start, let's start with the briefcase. We'll go to the paint box later. Briefcase. I've got a nice little supply of extra pencils. And I got my my regular, I don't have a pack come apart. But these are my these are my sketching pencils and carbon sticks or graphite sticks, not really carbon but graphite sticks. What you doing in there? Put that in there. And I also got a uh, thing uh, gummy eraser I have this right here is a, a Daler Brownie Roni Brownie Roni uh, I got two of these I got one in my in big case too but these are my I got these from Walmart they're like ten dollars at Walmart I got a little little teeny rigger brush what they call a liner brush. It's a it looks like a number three, a three odd or a three. Don't really use it that much. <laughs> you can tell it's not really ever used. I got a set of colored pencils. I'm, also, I got over here at Walmart called Leisure Arts. So got a good little selection of pens. I got a couple. I got two. Tape measure, not tape measure, a ruler that I can draw my lines with. And here I got a paint. So not paints, but I got little little pans. So I got a little, like a little protractor and a couple more erasers in there for my uh, erasing pencil. I got little shaders. I got a quarter inch shade, number one quarter shader. I uh, got a reflections uh, white brush pen, two dual end brush pen. So I can do like do waves and all stuff on water. On the water, I got got a sharpie. Fine point sharpie. Well, it's not really a fine point. That's a medium, regular point. It says fine, but that's that's a lie. <laughs> I know what fine looks like. That ain't no fine. And I also got a, uh, a uni, uh, an ultra fine point five pin to do like liners, you know, on my sketches or my pin washes. Oops. Most of these, most of these I pick up, like this right here I picked up at Michael's. Most of the stuff I'm picking up at Walmart, uh, or even the Dollar Tree or 99 cent store. And inside here, I've got more pencils and, and uh, shaders, and I even got some charcoal, a couple, couple of Prismacolor charcoal uh, sticks. The more erasers and stuff. Now the charcoal sticks, I got them over there at Michael's as well. Uh, the pencils, the pencils, and you even got a look at that green. Got a green highlighter. I tried doing the highlighting, and here's one of my erasers that those erasers go with. You know so. 
I got that. You never know, you never have enough erasers, I'll tell you that right now. I got a little sketch or a little it's where I usually put a lot of my like uh, graphite pen on, pencil on, just kinda of scratch it. And then use paper towel or the, the shader to pick it up. So I can brush it on onto the onto the drawing. Now I got I got a little <laughs> little chalkboard. This is the thing I picked up at uh, Dollar Tree. But I can do stuff like this. Make my little sketches like this. and I can clip it on the board. Make my little cards. That comes out pretty good that way. I got a few, few I did like that. Now that one, I used a heavier pen and... Yeah, I didn't really care for it. I like the, I like the, the thinner script pens. And got that guy right there. What else I got? Oh, I got me another, another pad in there. So, oh. And I also did some smaller, smaller sketches, painting and, and like a little water uh, lighthouse. I can't remember where that was from. But we got this little guy here. A waterfall, and we got another card. These are done in kind of the lines of uh, uh, Peter Schiller, in his style, and, and Neil Roche. You'll find them on YouTube. They're really good artists. They do like they do great on those um, what they call pin and pin and wash. I got a little. Craftsmate, uh, a craft smart um, fan brush that I use every once in a while, and I've got some natural sponge. Natural sponge, not so good. Uh, it doesn't really work that well. I also have this is a little frame that I use. I put on, put on my small uh, paintings and stuff. That uh, I'll raise you up a little bit. Small, small paintings and stuff that I. Uh, can put that on and then take a picture of it so I can keep it nice little uh, eraser and uh, pencil sharpener dual, dual tip pencil sharpener I also have uh, one of these correction pins they work pretty good as far as you're uh, doing shoreline white you know so you so you can separate the shore from the from the water now I also have my little sketchbook. It's a, it's a mixed media book. I can actually do water. Those watercolor pages done this too. I've done got my little uh, sketches that I've done on there. Got a couple of those, and I got got another another sketchbook that I've done more on. Doing different different types like a city in silhouette. Uh, working on trying to do skulls. I think it's not too bad. More mountains. I love mountains. I love landscapes. And you got the the white cliffs of Dover and sketch. Yeah, uh, not so good. <laughs> Supposed to be uh, Captain Barbosa from uh, the Pirates of the Caribbean. It has his look, but not great. Right, so I got another silhouette of a city in the early evening. And you got this picture was uh, is back east in in. Connecticut. A buddy of mine, uh, a guy I watch, Moto Cheese, does a lot of vehicle. Uh, uh, he has a mini a mini truck that he does uh, doing a lot of things on, and he works on motorcycles and anything in cars and vehicles. And this is one of the areas he stopped at, and I thought I'd go ahead and do a 
do a sketch of it because I liked the way it looked. Then we got a little sailboat in the middle of the water with a couple people on it, a little wave. And this is another one that old old uh, abandoned house out in the middle of the woods. I put the little flower in there to kind of give it a little life to it and little leaves right here. But to the idea. And that was for Halloween, this right here was. Three pumpkins, three different shaped pumpkins and stuff. Because you never know what kind of pumpkins you're going to get. And another, this, this is uh, Bug Light uh, up in Portland. Uh, Portland, Maine. Ought to come out pretty good. And then we got another lighthouse. This is this is in Hawaii. Menini Lighthouse in Hawaii. And we got Ding Island, Ding Island Lighthouse in the Philippines. And more. This is just out of my mind here. So little sketches and stuff and then we get in the lighthouse this one's this is that in ireland those those of you who are from that area you've probably seen this one this is just out there on the uh west side of ireland it's a nice lighthouse so it's pretty good shape can't remember the name of it then we got the byron blade lighthouse in uh, New South Wales. It's another good one. We'll do better. Sometimes I do better on the sketches than I do the paintings. And then we got another lighthouse. This is, uh, I can't even read my own. It's Cape Elizabeth. I'm not sure where it's at. I can't remember. But it's another good lighthouse that I did. And then we got just a, a ship out on the ocean, kind of just going out there, not a ship, but just a little, like a little rowboat. I put my little signature in there like that, I'll put it up so you can see it, make it look like it's part of the water, I like that. I did the skies like that, that's where it looks good. And then we did a sketch of a golf, fairway to golf course, the 18th I think it was. In uh, Kapalua, one of the guys, uh, Zach Radford, uh, he was there playing golf over the summer, or this last summer. So, so yeah, those are the ones I got. I don't think I got anything on there. No, no more on there. And I got back here, I got more pencils. Ah. Got my paints in there too. Well, that's good. More watercolor paints. Some highlighters. Now, that one said it was fine. Now, this one's fine. That's a fine point. I like that. It works out pretty good for what I need. I got more Ultra, and I got an Alt Alt Optima Extra Fine. It works. I like I, that way. I can have the scripts, and I got my highlighters in there, and I got, like I said, watercolor paints. Now the watercolor paints I got are Daler and Roni watercolors. Now those are also I got from Walmart. Now they're not bad watercolors. They're not. They're no. Uh, what do they call that? Uh, no professional watercolors. That's for sure. But. Uh, if you're gonna get the kids and start into watercoloring, that's a good. It's a good start. Oh, that's what's it's, it's 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 a good good brand to, to start with. Give them, give them those, and they'll do fine. I get this all this put back together, and I can start showing you the rest, the rest of the stuff. Get that back in there. 
There we go. But I I usually keep this in my van. So if I'm out and about I can actually do some sketches. And this is also stayed in the van too. For the extra stuff. I got another frame. More frames I can use. A lot of times if I decide I want to give give a painting away. Give a little painting, give it away and to a friend. I can put it in one of those frames. I hear my. Uh, I got anything in the sketchbook? No. Oh, it's just an artist sketch pad that I got from uh, from Big Lots. I got that a while back. Picture frames in there. The idea. I got more highlighters, permanent markers. Not highlighters, but markers and sharpies in here. And a lot more <laughs> erasers. <laughs> like I said, you never have enough erasers. Okay. That's those two. The paper I use. For the most part, later on I got the bigger ones of this too, but but the most part I got 11 by 15. I'll probably go to a, a little bit bigger one next time that it fits on my easel a lot better. But this works out pretty good. I got it, I got them out right now. It's a it's a 140 pound 11 by 15 uh, canvas and watercolor paper, and it I use this as my straight edge most of the time. That's what I'm trying to do along the whole line of it. And uh, I just got little different, different sketches that I kind of kind of go over. And eventually I'm going to end up painting like I got a house here. I'm trying to do uh, uh, perspective sketches and stuff. Uh, <laughs> going to slight work on a, on a little ship I'd seen in a movie. I was watching, but yeah, it's just I'm gonna end up doing a, uh, a tutorial or not a tutorial, but a um, little uh, test on how much you know. Give my opinion on, on painting, on paints and stuff. But now let's get into the the big one. It just, it, all this is is a, a flambeau, look at it this way, it's a flambeau uh, fishing tackle box. I like it because of what I can put in it. So on the top shelf I got, I got some paints over here, watercolors. On this side, and over here, for the most part, I got well, I got some watercolor in there. I got acrylic. I need to put my watercolor back over on the right side. And watercolors. Put my watercolors back on the right side. And I got a mixture of the the Cotman watercolors that uh, most now well that a lot of the guys use that are on uh, YouTube. Yeah, I use the cotton watercolors like Stephen Cronin. He, he's one I he's one that really got me back into doing watercolor paintings. And I use a, a little card to do. You saw if you've seen a bunch of my other sketches or paintings that have uh, rock formations on the cliffs and stuff. I use those to usually scratch that scratch those rock crevices in. I got got a palette knife. An artist loft palette knife. This is this is from uh, Michaels. Most of the paint brushes I got, even though I won't use most of them, they're from Michaels. Uh, I like these. This the, the, the uh, Taclon brushes. 
the stiffer bristles. I have some of the other ones. I don't even know this. This is number two or number twelve. I don't even know what brand that is, but like I said, most of them I got from Michaels. I do have a very long uh, Zen. Let's see, a Royal Langnickel, Royal and Langnickel uh, fan brush. It's okay. I wish they'd make a little one a little bit heavier. One that doesn't just start spreading out. The only reason why I don't like the fan brushes too much because they they spread out the, and they got a lot of gaps in them. It'd be great if they actually stayed together like they're that thing. Uh, I love these little guys. And these little tacklons, crash mark tacklon brushes. Look, the wedge there. Uh, there it is. And they got the straight one here. This is a. Uh, Wore it all off. Oh well. But these guys were in, the, were in the same bunch with this one. And I got that one. That one there. We got that one there. They were the round and stuff. This is another one of my favorite ones. This, this blue tackle on. By Craftsmart. I like it. It's like a wash brush. These two work really good. I use most oh, over the whole thing and then go over this lightly. These are good brushes. You know, I, I don't use a bunch of them. I even got a green one. They're okay priced. They're not. They're not overly priced brushes. They do. They do the job that you that you want them to do. Without really giving me any real big headaches. And we'll open this out. I got more acrylic paints here. I got some craft paint. Well, uh, Michaels, Craft Smart. Uh, some more, huh? More watercolor. I got to put it back over here. But usually I try and keep all my acrylics on this side, like this. My acrylics on one side. My watercolors on the other side. I do. That's my yellow acrylic. Okay, it's not the one I want. I'm gonna get out of your light. I'm gonna get on the other side. There we go. Now you get a better look. And I said I more brush. I got now this brush. It's an old Chinese style. Or Japanese style brush. Um, I haven't used it yet. I keep it in the thing. Uh, I'm gonna try and use it, work with it one of these days, uh, like doing flowers or trees or something like that, and see how it works. Just practice with it. And I got more rounds and little. Problem with these brushes, these what I don't like about them. These natural hair brushes, they just, they don't stay together very well. I also have these three guys I got kind of ruined by breaking the, breaking the tips on them. But that happens. And I also got another uh, rigger brush or liner, number two rigger. It does okay. But like I said, I'm going to use that. I'm going to learn how to use that. One. And I got... I got these little brush pins. Now these are Jot brush pins. They work out good. I like the flexibility of the tips. They really... I mean, you can lay them down. And they what You know, where you think a brush tip should do. I got... Of course, I can't find them anymore. I'd like to find more of those, but you can't even find these. I got these in red, blue, yellow, green. I know where my blue boy is, but I know I got a blue to go with it. So I also have. You've seen me use this quite a bit. This is a 
called aqua brush. You just fill that thing up with water, and again, it also has that nice soft tip. So you can actually lay it down. You get your color and just lay it down, and it does just fine. Oh, I love that thing. That's what I like about it so much. And I got me more pens. And I got, I got this color brush pen. It's a dark gray. This one and the oh, other one. Oh, there it is. And my light gray. I like my light gray because it, it it does good as a shadow, make a shadow. Get you over here. And again, it's a little stiffer, but that's okay. Because I just use it for a shadow. I'm not really trying to use it for anything else. Now this one I can do little tight lines and stuff if I want to. Like out in the water or whatever. But this. This one I do a lot for like the rock um, cliff formation and stuff like that. It's a brown. It's a very. It's a. What is it? Uh, 0.28. And I got it in the stationery. It, it uh, I got it over at Daiso. It doesn't really have a name on it that I could ever find on there. But I, it's a really fine tip. It works good. It comes in. You can get different colors. And since I do rock formations, usually in, in brownish color, this works great. Of course, then I can always use. A regular gel pen. I use this ink pen here. It's a 0.5, and I can do that in the, the lines with it as well. It works out. They work out good together. A lot of times I'll do that. I'll look down there. <laughs> I got sponge brushes, pencils. Like I said, all my watercolors here. I need to buy some more yellow. Oh, I got pens I have any or. Paint, paintbrush I hadn't even used yet. I got three more. The, the uh, horsehair paintbrush. I got these at, also at Daiso. Uh, this is a three piece. Five pieces. Oh, I already took two. Oh, that's, that's the two blue ones I got up here. I already took two of them out. But they're, they're three different sizes. I got an, an aught, a six, an eight, a ten, and a twelve. So. Just gotta remember to keep the point. Don't even break the points. I got my little little handheld one. I gotta put more paints in there. This is this is the one I've been using. I used the last one. I had to clean it all up to do it. But it's little little handheld painter's palette. Like I said, the the Roni Roni. Dale and Roni paints, eh, not so good. Some of them really work really good. Other ones are like, eh, kind of iffy. They kind of clog up, almost. And they come in a pack like that. I got a few of them out already, so. Put that up there. These guys, I'm going to give my opinion on them eventually, uh, probably in a a few days it's showing a real soft tip but it ain't soft it, it they're really stiff they're kind of stiff like uh like these guys this is these color brush pins from from daiso this is now i got this over a combo over at walmart but you can pick up sets of them bigger sets of them over at uh michael's and i believe uh hobby lobby they come in different colors i do have Hake brush, hockey brush, um, Stephen Cronin, and uh, a few other guys use these use these to paint with. Now, I need to probably have to get me a new one, but I'll get a new one eventually. And I got <laughs> got a nice big two inch brush. I could probably use this with uh, oil paints when I finally get into that. Now, I also got these guys here. Now, this is coming to five set as well. These are little, uh, those little paintbrushes. The little one you got in there, the same sizes. Now, I got this is Daiso as well. So, and then we got another one of these, a the blue one. Like I said, I love these kind. They're nice and stiff. They brush well. Also, you've seen me use this a lot. 
It's a tempera paint or craft paint, what I call it. I got my white, so it works better for me. And when I eventually get into oil painting, I do have some liquid clear that uh, Bob Ross put out when he was alive. So that's going to be for later when I have time and, and the patience. Like I said, I had another set of those uh, Daler and Roni pens or pencils, sketch pencils. I got me another towel. You never have too many towels. And I got these little uh, chip brushes, Craftsmark chip brushes. So. And a big one now, like one and a half. And I got these. This guy here, I got at Walmart. That one right there, I got it. Uh, what is it? Uh, Michaels. I got, I got a bunch of these kind of brushes, and I got a, a cheap um, hake brush. It's a nylon, nylon bristle hake brush. And then we got my other cheap. Uh, Hake brush, it's a that I got actually I got in Hawaii. It's a this is this is a small hake brush style hake style brush. I wouldn't call it really a hake brush, but I got more of these. I got a lot of brushes I really don't use that much. It's like hey, let's let's give it this one, you know. This is a great little soft brush. I mean that when I finally get in that watercolor or that oil painting. This would be good to for soft brushing. And we'll see about that later. And, you know, I keep talking about oil, oil paint and stuff too. And I got me a full set of oil paints I hadn't even opened yet. These are Walmart. They were like I think they were like six bucks at the time, so they work out pretty good for me. Like I said, I got uh, a one and a half inch nylon brush. I got plenty of brushes, plenty of sponge brushes. I got me a three-inch nylon for for the oil paints when I finally do them. And I got me a, I got me this other pen. I don't even know. I can't remember if that works or not. I'll check it out later. So, but I got more more sponges and sponge brushes. And that's that's pretty much all my paint supplies. I got a couple easels. I got we'll keep one in the van that I can actually have the van door open and I can sit out there and just paint sit on sit on the van back of the van and do that and uh, yeah it's like you know, all this stuff back in there get all this stuff in there like so But yeah, yeah you, you've seen all the stuff I got. I've got a mixture of paints, different brands, uh, using mostly the uh, De La Rone paints, and I will be like doing it. Like I said, doing a, a review on the, those Tombow pens. I'm not really crazy about them. I mean, they work for people who a lot of people who like them. You know, I've watched on YouTube. They're not for me. They're not what I really enjoy using. But other people will enjoy it. I know. Okay, let's put the act together. And I really hope you enjoy this video. I'll be posting it as quick as I can. Uh, you have a great night. Stay healthy. Be safe. Stay home. <sighs> time, time now is not the time for sharing uh, hugs and, and stuff with this coronavirus going out there. So, y'all have a great day. God bless y'all.